Crystal Tate here, feeling a little bit like a Mad Hatter today. <laughs> so I am going to report on my Gonzaga tour. I have always loved Gonzaga, but this was the first time I really got to have like that full experience on campus. Um, and there's lots of great things that they're up to that I think that it's worth knowing about. Uh, so it's about 4,700 undergraduate students in Spokane, which is the second largest city in the state of Washington. Um, and it is really more of that hands-on opportunity. They are a Roman Catholic school, um, but they about a third of their students um, identify as Catholic, a third a part of a whole bunch of other religious organizations, and a third as not. Um, their stances, just like a lot of the Jesuit and Roman Catholic schools, we meet you wherever you're at on your path um, and are there to support you. So the extent of their religious courses is taking two in world religion and then one in in Catholic tradition. So um, they are also uh, what we call a very inviting campus. So four out of five on the Campus Pride Index. Um, and they're also looking at growing and continuing to foster that. They have one in seven students that's actually first generation as well on campus. Um, the primary um, living situation is that there are um, two years that are required for you to live on campus, um, but there are a lot of living learning communities and so you can really get engaged with a group that really means something to you. And over 60% of the or um, of the students are going to do study abroad. Um, if you do nursing and study abroad, it takes you a little bit longer, but it's still totally possible. And so, yet again, getting that hands-on engagement and learning about culture and community is something that's important to them. Um, they're also really good at uh, supporting freshmen and first-generation um students in terms of acclimating to college life. So um, that is a foundation for really having that support in freshman year. Uh, when it comes to academics and, and applying to the school, uh, SAT and ACT scores are not required. They like to look at that holistic view of your application. However, they did say that if you have a lower GPA, say like a 3.3, that having a higher score or submitting a score can help you um, in terms of offsetting, which is what we hear from most of the universities as well. Healthcare is the number one industry in Spokane, so there are a lot of ties to um, opportunity for hands-on, especially for nursing students. So they do six clinical rotations, um, so yet again, a lot of that hands-on, but with that being said, engineering and nursing are their two direct entry programs, so that means when you apply to the school, you should be checking that box that yes, these are the programs that you want to apply to. Um, you can transfer into engineering uh, once you're there, but it will take you longer than four years in order to complete it. And of course, per, per usual, when it comes to stuff like engineering, if that's something that we're interested in, taking the math and science classes while we are in high school is one of the paramount things that they're looking at in terms of getting that direct entry into the program. Um, and perk is that because they are that smaller school with, you know, a little over 4,500 students, their biggest class is 50. Um, and they pride themselves on their core classes that are going to be uh, 25 to 30 and are taught directly by professors and not by TAs. So they are known as right now the 12th best in the nation in terms of their um, teaching undergraduates and that learn by doing philosophy. So that's a super great opportunity if, you know, one of some of the state schools have larger class sizes of 200, 300, 400, 500 students. If that's not going to be a great fit for you, those core classes are really small here at Gonzaga. The Honors College is also something that I've had students take advantage of. There is a separate application that is required in order to do that. Um, 80 students a year get selected. This year they said they had 450 students apply. So um, they're looking for that intellectual curiosity and really what that engagement you are going to have um, within the university and their honors program. Uh, but they also have a really strong business program, uh, especially for accounting. They have a really strong pass rate for, for um, students that want to be accountants. And the kind of overall, I mean, their big thing, of course, sports-wise, is um, 
basketball and so people tent out and there's a whole thing about getting tickets to go to these games they've got a lot of culture on campus within music and sports and academics and and it's very well rounded overall um, and the good news is they're also pretty generous when it comes to money so merit scholarships I would say I've had kids maybe with lower academics get a twenty thousand dollars a year in terms of a discount off um, and then I've had other students that have gotten thirty thousand dollars a year but they have also a variety of Gonzaga scholarships that you are allowed to stack so whether that's for the honors college or leadership or you're interested in engineering um, there's an assessment in regards to all of that and they also have what they call a Gonzaga pledge. So for students that qualify for um, a Pell Grant, you are put in actually for a full ride scholarship. So I had two students this year that got the full ride for tuition at Gonzaga, um, which was a super awesome opportunity. Uh, and the good news is that the financial aid package for any institutional monies that they are offering stays the same for all four years that you were there. So you don't have to worry about those monies going away. So overall, Gonzaga in Spokane, super fun, great school, um, and it's totally worth checking out. So enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time when we have our next update on our college tours.